Something else that I find very interesting is the, the effect on mood. Actually, yeah. it's what got me interested in the sauna in the first place. So okay. when I was in graduate school, I was very stressed out, you know, yeah. exams and failed experiments and lots of pressure. So I was using the sauna and it noticeably improved my mood. Mm. So and it helped me deal with stress. It helped me deal with the anxiety I was experiencing. Um, and and there's there's a lot of sort of speculative reasons I think that's it's possible, but one is related to cardiorespiratory fitness. Mm -hmm. So there's actually been studies, one very recently done, published, um, in a very large sample of people, I believe it was like a million people, okay. looking at cardiorespiratory fitness and depression. Yeah. Uh, and the study found that uh, people with poor cardiorespiratory fitness had a 75% increased chance of being, oh. have, being you know, diagnosed oh. with depression. Yeah. So I'm sort of interested in, clearly the sauna is affecting you know, cardiovascular health and do you know, like cardiovascular, cardiovascular fitness would be, you know, one one way to um, a measurement of cardiovascular health. Yeah. Have yeah, you ever it, looked at cardiorespiratory fitness? Yeah, we have been measuring also cardiorespiratory fitness in our study. Also in this new study part, we have measured and we can see if there is association between the fitness and sauna use and these different parameters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So that's ongoing but, but, right now. Yeah, ongoing okay. right in in. In our population-based study, study, although we adjusted for the level of fitness, yeah, the the there was an independent association right, with, right. between the use of sauna and outcomes. Oh, cool! So you're yeah. so, but you're saying, you know, in addition to people obviously they're, that are physically active, you're adjusting for that and then yeah. trying to look just specifically at how the sauna may, in and of itself, yeah, affect itself, your yeah. fitness. That'll be really great. I look forward to yeah. that. The other one, which I won't get into too much detail because I don't want to talk so much, but it affects endorphins. So mm. sauna releases endorphins. Mm, yeah. Endorphins make you feel better. Mm, feel better, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It is relaxation, yeah, yeah. Also in Finland, I, I think we quite many use for that purpose. They they want to some relaxation, you know, after working mm -hmm. day and so on. It's it's like a habit to to end your day and go uh -huh. to sauna and you after that you feel more relaxed. Do you think that also that may also have something to do with the uh, improved longevity? Because stress is also linked to yeah. longevity, and so Can if it's be. something that's lowering stress and making you more relaxed, then that seems like it goes hand in hand with longevity as well. Yeah, can be, can be, and uh, there are studies uh, showing the role of, of autonomic nervous system and cardiovascular diseases, how how, how they are related together, and and also in our study we want to explore uh, how the sauna may have effect on, on heart rate and heart rate variability mm -hmm. which is one of the measure which can de can be used to to assess the autonom autonomic nervous system and oh, its its function